So in this video, we're going to show you how to do the first part of the experiment. For this setup, you want the flat end of the semicircular cup to be even and flush against the flat end of the protractor. We also want to make sure that we are in a dark room. Try and do this in as dark a room as possible while still being able to see the angles on your protractors. So we're going to go ahead and make this room a little bit darker. The next thing I'm going to do is use my tape to turn my laser on. There we go. So now you can see the laser line. This is going to be the key to this lab. Make sure you're standing directly over the semicircular cup. You want to make sure that that line for your beginning uh, measurement is directly in line with that 90 degree line. So what you're going to do is measure the angle in the beginning then use the protractor to measure the angle out. One thing to note is that we want to do the angle in relation to the normal. So the normal is actually this 90 degree mark. So my angle in right now is actually zero degrees and then my angle out you're going to read in relation to again the 90 degree mark. For example, the next angle we're going to do is at 10 degrees from the 90 degree mark. So that's going to actually be the 80 degree mark. So you're going to again look at from the top view and line that up as best as you can and then measure the angle out. You are going to have to be a little bit careful with this to move the protractor so that the zero mark, which is that little circular at the bottom right there, is in line with your laser. And once you think that that's the best in line, then you're going to read the angle um, for, again from the top. But again, you're going to make sure that, that this is the angle in relation to the 90 degree mark. So if I'm seeing about 79 degrees, that's actually an 11 degree angle. So you're going to do this in 10 degree intervals. Start at zero, you go 10, 20, 30, 40. Measure both the angle in and the angle out and you're going to end up plotting the sine of theta out versus the sine of the theta in. Do this in order to solve for the index of refraction of the water. Compare that to theoretical value. And one thing to make sure that when you're doing this is that you convert the angles to radians. So we've measured everything in degrees here. You want to make sure you convert that to radians when you're doing this in Excel.